I am Dr. Ginger Sturgeon and I am the head veterinarian and director of animal health at the Pittsburgh Zoo and PPG Aquarium and we wanted to give you guys some insight on what we are doing every day even uh, with everybody under home quarantine um, and today we are looking at Danny he is our lion-headed rabbit he's six years old and he lives down in Kids Kingdom in the domestications area he is used to um, go out on grounds and educate our guests about rabbits and also used for different birthday parties and education programs here around the zoo. The reason that we are looking at Danny today is that um, yesterday his keeper called us and told us that he stopped eating his grain. Um, he was still eating his hay and other produce, but what that signals to us is that he might have a dental issue. The keeper then um, looked into moistening his grain with um, water and he rapidly snarfed it down. So we know that his appetite is still good, that he just doesn't prefer the hard grain right now. So what we're gonna get ready to show you is um, how we anesthetize our rabbits. And you'll see that um, we'll put them into a bunny burrito, kind of wrapping in the towel, making sure that they're safe as we administer the gas anesthetic. Um, and from there, then we'll show you how a rabbit dental exam occurs, and we'll see if Danny has any dental abnormalities to explain his, his clinical signs. I'd like to introduce you to two of our technicians here at the zoo. This is Libby Galvanic, she is our head veterinary technician, and this is Lauren McCutcheon, she is our hospital veterinary technician. And you can see here, Danny, we have him wrapped in what we call a bunny burrito. Really, it's just a towel wrapped around him. Um, rabbits have fairly weak backs overall, but really strong hind limbs, and so we need to exercise a great deal of caution when we hold them so that we don't accidentally injure them. And you can see that Danny has a face mask on where um, Libby and Lauren are administering the gas anesthetic. And here at the zoo, we use a gas anesthetic called isofluorine. So once Danny um, becomes asleep, we'll go ahead and hook up monitoring equipment um, to him and then start his dental exam. All right, Danny is now under a surgical plane of anesthesia and we still have his face mask on. Um, maintaining the flow of the isochlorine to him. And I wanted to show you guys some of the equipment that we use for Danny. Now this is a pretty um, basic, straightforward procedure that Danny's undergoing, but you can see Libby is using a stethoscope to take Danny's heart rate to listen for any murmurs or arrhythmias. That means a, an abnormality in the rhythm of the heart. And then to also make sure that he is breathing under anesthesia, okay, monitoring his respirations. Over here, we have some of the common dental instruments that we use for rabbits. Um, so see, these are the different um, files. And we'll see, sometimes rabbits get points on their molars. And all that means is that their molars and, rab and incisors of rabbits are continually growing. And so if there's any abnormality in how they chew, part of the tooth could grow while part of the tooth gets ground down. And then um, you develop Points, and I can show you a picture of those later on to better explain that, but those are the files. These are some of the oral speculums or how we are able to keep um, the rabbit's mouth open. Now rabbits have a really tiny oral cavity, a really tiny mouth, so we need to use a lot of different things to help spread their cheeks open and be able to get a good view in there. Um, this is an instrument that we use, and you can see the little gnaw marks on it from our previous rabbits. Um, but as an oral speculum, it's got a magnifying glass on the end and allows us to look in and make a quick um, examination of those teeth to actually see if there's any dental abnormalities that we need to address. All right, so Danny is now in position for his dental exam. So we're going to kind of just move that tongue out of the place. Rabbits have a big fleshy tongue. And then we'll go in here and see actually if we have any dental disease in little Danny. And Danny um, does have um, some moderate um, dental points. Um, this is the view that I'm kind of seeing inside Danny's mouth. 
right? Um, and so his tongue is right here in the middle, and then we have lower molars here. Molars are those big kind of chewing teeth that we all have. And then the upper molars here that I can also see. And what happens with rabbits is on their lower molars, um, they, this part of the tooth grows a little bit more and so it develops a sharp point that sticks out towards the tongue. And if it gets bad enough, and this is not the case in Danny, but if it gets bad enough, it can actually cause um, little lacerations on their tongue, which can be painful. And then on the upper molars, um, the points or the um, lengthening actually occurs near the teeth. So Danny has um, moderate points on both those upper molars um, and the lower molars. So now what we'll do is we'll um, go ahead and put in those oral speculums kind of pushing his cheeks out of the way, allowing us to open up that jaw to get access because the rabbit mouth again is pretty small. And then using our files and just like you would on your nails, filing the, down those edges that are sharp. And that should make Danny feel a lot better. Um, he'll go back um, to Kids Kingdom today and probably start eating grain and hay as soon as we get him back in his stall. All right, so first instrument that we're putting in spreads open Danny's cheek. This next instrument, there's a lot going on in this little tiny mouth, allows us to open up his mouth to be able to see in. All right, so that looks pretty good. And then I'll show you if you can see in here, actually let me do this and pull that light real close. So I'm gonna push down his tongue and you can see there's the upper molars. Can you see that, Lauren? Mm -hmm. And then there's the lower molars. And see how those kind of come to a point there near his tongue? So what we want to prevent is the molars from cutting his tongue at all. So that's what we'll be filing down. You can hear Danny breathing nicely. All right, so those are the molar points and we will show you after we are done filing. He did great um, for his dental and if you look inside here in the mouth and pull in his tongue to the side you can see that lower arcade of molars is now nice and flat there's no more points or or sharp edges that could um, cut his tongue potentially so I think he's gonna feel a lot better after this all right, so Danny is all done with his procedure we took care of the points that he had developed on his molars and now he should be able to eat his grain without water being added to it. And of course, his hay and his veggies and greens that he gets every day. We're administering flow by oxygen as he recovers and starts to come out of anesthesia. We thank you guys for watching and understand that we are taking care of your animals here at the Pittsburgh Zoo, even though we are closed. Stay safe.